three points, 10 players scored, nobody was in double digits. Pretty rare yeah. feat. What does that say to you? Yeah, we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of talent. I think, uh, you know, some, you know, we try to mix it up, give guys opportunities in the game. And I think everybody kind of chipped in. Uh, every, some, you know, every night's not going to be the same. You know, they, you know it's not going to be this, this guy gets 30 and we will go off and win. Some nights it's going to be a tough night. It's like Jonathan's shot wasn't falling, but other guys picked up. So it, it's going to be like that sometimes. Yeah, almost put the table down on that. <laughs> You know that too. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. But what is this? You know, you guys, you played them four times now. Mm -hmm. What do you expect tomorrow? Are they the same team they've been on every time you played them? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, we're tired of playing these guys. I mean, it's <laughs> it's obvious. Uh, we I saw talked to Jason, the head coach, in the showcase, and we just looked at each other like, I'm sick of this. Like, let's get a break. So yeah, we know we know each other very well, and we scheme against each other very well. Jason's a great coach, so. Uh, you know, it was the same team. We, you know, and Gilliard uh, obviously was a new addition, and he's really, really talented point guard. But thank God we got uh, Trey Mitchell, which is the best defensive player in the world. So I mean, that's something that uh, you know I love to you know that we have that, so we can handle guys like him. The last thing, talk about you know your start in the regular season. Pretty, pretty good way to start it, huh? Yeah, always. I mean. Winning games is, is, I mean, listen, my job is to win games, right? And obviously, there's other levels to that. It's teaching the guys on and off the court, mentorship and all that. But the bottom line, we got to win some games. So it's always good to have a good start like this. And then, uh, you know, just keep it going. Last Friday, uh, I introduced you to Clay Walker. Did you figure that one out? <laughs> you know what? I did not look at Clay Walker. But I, tonight, I, I will really try to look at him because I want to come back and have an answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moving on to the game, Coach, I mean, you guys, th that last uh, four or five minutes where Memphis kept ch chipping away at that big lead, and you guys were able to build two big leads at two different times in the game. Uh, just what does this show you about the team that it can just uh, go off and, and build big leads? And you've said it multiple times where the, in this league, as long as there's time left, there's going to be a crawl back of some type. Yeah, I mean, this we have a lot of talent. So uh, we, we were able to explode in, in certain situations. And it was funny, just before the game, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the TNT game, you know, Golden State was up 24. And uh, Denver came all the way back you know, like in the fourth and just walked them down. And I'm like, man, as a coach, we got to, you know, you got to figure out how to stop that. And then it just happened, right? We're up 20, I think. I don't know. And they walked us down and came back. So. Them things are going to happen. Good team. They're a discipline team. They play hard. They keep working. Uh, we just got to figure out the little things in the fourth quarter to clean up. All right, Coach. Seven of your Vipers scored double digits tonight. You know, how balanced do you think your offense can be and will be tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, especially when it's a back-to-back, -back, you kind of want guys to get their minutes in play because, you know, other guys can step up tomorrow and do the same. And my thing is, like a lot of coaches, it's the next man up. So if this guy's struggling a little bit or he's tired, <laughs> Bring that next man in. Hopefully, he can do the same thing or better. So, I think I got a group that can do that. How about your uh, our Jermaine Samuel? Yeah. You know, scoring big tonight, point for point. Yeah, Jermaine was big for us. I mean, that third quarter we exploded. He really played well. I mean, making threes and uh, Memphis is a team that packs the paint and they make sure you, they're pretty much going to give you some open threes. And him making them threes really kind of put a uh, you know stress on them. So it was he's big time for us tonight. Playing them today, and I know you already said you're kind of already tired of playing them, but do you think you're, the team's already a little bit prepared for it tomorrow, what's to come? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, Memphis gets up for us and we get up for them. You know, basically, like, we're kind of somewhat rivals. So they're prepared. They're like, let's get another one tomorrow. They're excited to go. So, I mean, you know, I'm excited. I mean, me and Jason just, we, you know, win or lose, we just shake hands and just laugh because, like, we're, gonna, we're probably going to see him in the playoffs. So that's what it is, yeah. How similar was Jermaine's game tonight to it was really similar. I think he kind of took it amongst himself to make, you know, make some big plays. You know, we're, we're still, you know, it's, it's funny. You know, we have the showcase season and we have this season starting, but we're still figuring out ways to get each other the ball and um, make, the, make it smooth. And I think uh, Jermaine, you know, he's still figuring out his way in our offense. And this time that 30 just took it amongst himself. I know Jermaine got frustrated for a minute during the game, but it's only it's like the fourth game of the team. How's yeah. he coming? Oh, he's coming along good. Like, I told Nate, I mean, like, I, he's a really good player. He's, he's a hell of a player. I think he's going to have a bright future in the NBA. So, you know, he's frustrated some of the shots he missed and things like that. But 
he's the same player that can get 30 something tomorrow just because he's so talented. So I told him just don't worry about it, keep playing hard. And Hinton always seems to have success against this team. Triple, double, and double. <laughs> Close to that tonight. Well, I just think because, you know, he's one of them hard nosed, tough players. And this is a hard nosed, tough team that he's playing against. So it fits right in. He loves that kind of competitiveness. So, uh, and, I, and I think he's starting to catch his groove too. Finally, I do this one. I'm in an NFL locker room. I talk about basketball, so I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. who's going to win between Houston and Indy tomorrow? Oh, man. I mean, I, I guess I kind of got to go for Houston, right? You know? <laughs> you know, I'm going to say Houston. Uh, I think that's going to be the one right there. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Coach. No problem.